Today we are playing Dauntless Dog, They're Coming, S Schmap, Dart 07, Swarmed, Tohu Fan Game, Hero of the Cernicus Galaxy, Super Schmap, Clear Your Mind, Nightly Air Patrol, Schmap, Shootinator, and Shieldmate. Hi everybody, hi everybody, welcome. I'm Christian, welcome to Lazy Test Academy. Welcome to the third video, where we are going to play through all of the games of the basic Schmuck Showcase. Now, um, I've been reviewing some of my previous videos and I noticed something that I am a bit embarrassed about. I've been a little bit overusing a certain phrase, and that phrase is, let me look it up. Uh, ah, ah yeah baby, let's go. Can't promise I'm not gonna use this phrase today, but <laughs> I'm gonna try to, to express my enthusiasm for what is happening in a different way. Uh, and also, I noticed that sometimes I get grumpy when I lose the game. <laughs> so don't take, don't take all of my grumpiness as, as genuine feedback, you know. Sometimes I just, I just like get caught up in my feelings. Get caught up in my feelings if you know what I'm saying. All right, so let's get going. The next game is here. It's called Dauntless Dog, which is that is an amazing name for a schmuck. I don't, I, I wouldn't think that this would be a name for a schmuck. Uh, it is a website that uh, seems to have all of the elements. That like it seems like somebody put some effort into it, so I appreciate this. I am not a big fan of the pixel font. I I already talked about it. Why? But yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we have, apparently there's different ships and there's different pilots inside the ships. Press X to start, made by the Game Over guy. Oh. Looks like 32 enemies are approaching. Protect the galaxy, okay. Ooh, a very fast moving ship. Uh, uh, wow, uh, feels a bit too fast. Let's blast, blast these guys, let's kick some ass. This is a family friendly show. Oh my gosh, what are they doing? They Oh man, I have to defend my friends! Things are exploding all the time. I'm not really sure if I got hit or not. Incoming, let's calibrate our engines. What? What? Oh, should I, should I, should I, should I, should I pick this up? I don't know. Looks like 40 enemies are... <laughs> Protect the galaxy! <laughs> Looks like 40 enemies are approaching. Blast them! So I see there's different... Um, Health, I guess. It's, it's oh yeah, it's probably the pink line is how much health my other ship has. See, here's a big problem that I'm going to talk about this later. But um, there's a big problem I have with uh, health bars and shrubs, and I'm going to talk about later why. Um, for now, I think we have to pick up all of this stuff. Yeah, yeah. This I think this. Um, oh, <laughs> no, okay. I picked up all of the upgrades, so I have now full health. But my poor, poor guys don't have any health at all. And see now, now they're getting blasted. Yeah. Oh yeah, and my guys are dying. See, yeah, see, see ya, see ya. Oh, and, then, and I, I never miss. Got him. Incoming. Let's calibrate our engines. Wait. I, I guess I tried to my my buddy to pick up all of the pickups. Where's the green guy? The green guy wasn't there. Gecko. Uh, Dub never crossed my mind. Protect the galaxy. Okay, got it. Federation is doomed. I like this guy. Uh, let, let's blast these guys. Okay. Oh, oh it, it, this is the gecko. This is this is the bad guy. This is the evil evil guy. Over you over a little what? I I cannot read this text. It's impossible. It's impossible. Uh, cobra. Okay, I I cannot cannot pay attention to the text. I'm sorry. I have to. I would have to review later the. Oh, look, I now I killed it. Oh, somebody died? No, wait. Incoming. Let's like recalibrate our engines. Is, is it like a Mass Effect reference? <laughs> I'm, re I'm doing recalibrations. <laughs> Protect the galaxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 about, I'm about to. Don't stress me out. Man, the variety of enemies is really great. I would wish I had an opportunity to, to like pay attention to them. Wow, look at this, look at this. Did you see the spread there? Oh, that's a cool spread. Oh, and also this game also has this feature like the other games where 
uh, the enemies are coming back after they did the attack run, which I think, I sh in hindsight, that, that's probably a good choice. I should have done it before. Let's recalibrate our engines. Yeah, that, I, like all of my guys are dying here. Looks like 20 enemies are approaching. Oh, look at these guys. Whoa, crazy spreads. Yeah, my guys are dying. Crazy. Where? My guys are always flying away. Come on. What, why are you wearing it off screen? Where is the pink guy? What is this? Incoming. Sheldon. Shelton? Is that from the. Is that a. Is that a. Big Bang Theory kind of thing? Let's kick some ass. Okay, yeah, we, we got that. We, we want to kick some ass. Ooh, look at this guy. Ooh, look at these. Look at these. Yes. Very nice spread. Oh, look, there's a power up over there. <laughs> the music, I have to say, the music is quite experimental. Somebody's like jamming on those synths. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what an experience, what an experience, what an experience. Okay, Shelton, there's a, I kind of amazed at this game already, I'm already a second boss of this game, like this game has a, a lot of enemy variety I feel, I appreciate that a lot. Boss, I failed, what? What? Why did they fail? Let's pick some ass. Well, for now we are about to pick up the... Okay, incoming. Go over. Looks like 36. Enemies are approaching. <laughs> oh. I, man, there's so, so much variety in those enemies. Oh, you can actually loop through. That's interesting. You can loop... I haven't even noticed. You can, if you leave the screen, you appear on the other side. Ah, yeah. The hearts are my type of enemy. Whoa! Look at how fast they're shooting. Holy crap! It's like impossible to avoid them. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so now we have to pick up all of the power-ups. Yeah, I got it, got it. It's always the same dialogue, man. Chomper! Chomper! What is Champa doing? Champa, he was our friend! He's gonna dive bomb us, hopefully. Our calibrations hold! <laughs> oh man, the calibrations! Make sure, make sure you don't eat my dust. Oh, Champa, man, you were our friend! How, how did you. Everybody betrayed me! I fed up with this, fed up with this world. Okay. Uh, uh oh, somebody. Yeah, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult to. Yeah, Chomper. Get, get wrecked, Chomper. Chomper is not really a very, very difficult enemy, you just have to tank a lot of his attacks because there's no, no way of avoiding this, I feel. No! Incoming! Let's recalibrate our engines! Man, this is a game about recalibrating engines, I tell you. Cobra! What?! Enemy uh, boss fights end to end? Cobra, you will never, never beat, beat us. Avenging my father is... Oh, wow. This game has quite a story. I wish I could be able to pay attention to this. Um, Protect the galaxy, okay? Don't worry, your father knows such a chance, okay? Whoa! Look at this cobra! Holy crap, it's a space snake! Wow, that's an amazing... What? His tail is coming out! Oh, dang! Wow, that's a fantastic boss! That's so cool! <laughs> I have to laugh about this synth. I'm sorry. It's just like I'm just imagining somebody who's like just going to town on the synth. Like, duh, 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 duh. Okay, you are too weak to hurt me. Uh, Casey, what is the point? Let's kick some ass. My scales are too strong for your lasers. This shit isn't going to last at this rate. I'm going down. Over. No. I thought we had a chance. No. No. Panting. I can't give up. Press. Uh, 
uh, circle. I don't know which circle is. Okay. Okay, so we're just beginning at the beginning at uh, the start. Yeah, it seems like I died. Uh, so basically, I just I just hit too many times. Okay, now we have the problem with long dialogues. It's like once you have to read the long dialogue again, it takes a while. So I'm not sure where exactly. Oh, I guess his head is because I can also attack his tail, and I guess the tail is is also vulnerable. I'm not sure. I, it's difficult because it's difficult to pay attention to. Uh, and now also, the, of course, the percentage bar is behind the name, so I don't really see if the percentage bar is even moving. Oh yeah, those, those, uh, my health is going down rapidly. Pick up this, this. Yeah, okay. Pick up this health. Okay, I think we're, do we're done here, right? That is only temporary. Game by the Game Over guy. Thanks to Lazy Devs, level 227 peak. And then we have a nice uh, summary of all the people that participated in the story. I think that's really nice. That's a really nice detail. All right, and that's it. So what did we think? Uh, generally, a very nice and polished game, I thought. Um, uh, especially the graphics are really nice. I thought the different different characters and different ships were really nice. Um, the enemies were very varied, and it seems like they had different attack patterns. There's things, there's two things that I, I was struggling with in this game. First, and that's something I want to talk about. So a lot of um, shmups have like this um, one hit lo means losing one life uh, mentality or, or policy kind of thing. Where if you get hit once, you feel it, right? Like you're like, oh man, I lost a life. You, you see that something goes out, uh, like some, you lose some health, some, some lives. And you see that sometimes you get reset at a position. Actane didn't like it when, when I did that in my, my game, but like you feel like you lost something. In some older games, when you get hit, you have to restart at the at earlier, um, earlier position, right? You get set back uh, in your progress. Uh, that's something that's, I think, very key to, to how shmups work. Now, some shmups say like, okay, well, we are in a modern, we are in, you know, 2022, we can have health points. And we can have like a health bar. And so when you get hit, you just lose, lose some health, but you're not really dead. Um, and then maybe if you lose all your health, then you're really game over. And that's kind of one of those games here. The problem with that is that at some point, you don't really feel that you got hit. You just like let all of the bullets wash over you. you kind of like take it on in and you just like take it in strides, you know, like you just get hit, whatever, just moving on, right? And it doesn't really, you don't really feel when you made a mistake. Uh, you just like, it's just like part of the process. Um, in, especially in a lot of modern games, um, health is something that you constantly lose and regain, right? It's just like, oh, I'm just tanking all the damage and then we later the uh, healer will come in and heal me back up. And as I get a hit, it's not a big deal. It's not, not necessarily that you make a mistake. It's just like part of the process. The, in shmups, you should be avoiding the bullets. That's kind of like how shmups work. They're kind of like more, more all the type of game, kind of, so to speak. You're not supposed to be tanking the bullets. You're not supposed to be like, you know, just take it all bullets all in and, and continue. So I think this game had like this kind of problem where you had the health and I got hit constantly and at some point it, it was whatever, like the attacks were whatever. I would try to avoid some, some of the bullets, but also my, my guys got hit and I couldn't really prevent it that well. So it was just about, you know, and then in between the stages you got showered by upgrades. So it's just like losing a lot of health and then getting it back again and then losing a lot of health and getting it back again. And that didn't really feel like I'm engaging with the game mechanics. So even though there was a lot of variety in the enemies, like different attack patterns, I didn't really have to pay attention to them because I could just like, tank all of the damage and then and then get it or get health back again. Um, so that's something I would maybe think about how to, um, how to implement getting hit, how to make the player feel that they're getting hit how to make um, mistakes uh, have consequences that the player then has the tools also to avoid. I also thought that the um, ship was moving a bit fast, so it was difficult to avoid the bullets anyway, right? So it was. It felt like at some point I just gave up avoiding the bullets. I just tried to do my best, but I just accepted the fact that it was going to hit a lot. The other thing is storytelling. So this game clearly clearly goes for um, Star Fox vibe, right? Like where you have your wingman and there's constant banter and talking and the enemies they encounter is a banter between the enemies. 
that's great. The problem that you that you get the while when you have like a conversation during gameplay is that you can't really pay attention to the conversation because ga the gameplay is taking so much attention away from you. So there was a lot of things happening at the same time, and I just could not pay attention to this. And once you lose, once you decide that I'm not the kind of person who's going to read all of the dialogue, then the dialogue could just as well not be there anymore. Uh, because you just lost lines in between, maybe there are important lines, you don't understand what's happening, you're kind of like halfway following the story. The story is kind of like something that, again, that just washes over you, it's just like whatever, you know. And I feel that's, that's kind of like a, a pity because clearly somebody put a lot of effort into the story and it's kind of, it, they just didn't present it in a way in which we can really uh, give the uh, story that full, our full attention, right? And this is a big, a big problem with shmups. Um, Star Fox kind of did it nicely. I think uh, Star Fox is kind of like a very unique, special game, and it's kind of difficult to, to uh, copy it because a lot of things about Star Fox were kind of like very different. Now, I ma made a video about um, a different shmup called LSGG3, and in that video, I kind of like my point was that I think storytelling in shmups works a little differently that you uh, can't rely on dialogue because there's just no good place to put in dialogue. And rather you want to kind of like maybe do some more storytelling visually with the elements that are in the game, with the backgrounds, with the enemies and so forth, rather than, you know, spelling it out. I think um, dialogue works better in games where like, you know, RPGs or adventures where you can actually stop and, and read the text and then continue playing, right? Death Note, it really gets uh, chaotic. I totally understand that the dialogue gets in the way. I wanted to add text and story to the shmup for some callbacks to the classic Fox series, but I think the screen limitation got the best of it. Regardless, enjoy. Also, the companions are rookies. They aren't the best at fighting and navigation. Keep that in mind. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, yeah, so I, mm, this is really difficult because clearly, uh, yeah, like the idea that um, uh, the game over guy had here clearly comes across. The idea was to kind of like do like a callback to uh, Star Fox, uh, but I, I would probably disagree that the, the screen limitation was a problem. The problem was that not that we didn't have enough screen real estate, right? It's just like too many things were happening at the same time. Um, it's a difficult problem. It's a difficult problem. So I feel really bad at like off the bat, like starting to go into this rant, right? Because like, it's not like this game is not a competent game. This is a very polished game. It set it out some goal and went for it. The game over guy clearly put a lot of effort into this game. Quite often it feels like the games that are trying to break the mold, that are trying to breach out into different directions, those are the games that get the most kind of like negative feedback. They kind of get punished for trying new things. So that's not the way I want this to come across. I appreciate the attempt here. So instead of criticizing the game, we should maybe think of this as kind of like a starting point for the next iteration. Okay, so we tried, uh, it was difficult to pay attention to the text. How can we, in the next attempt, how can we avoid those problems and how can we achieve our goals mainly through different means? And I don't have answers to this, but I think this is a good starting point to start finding those answers. Maybe that's something we can touch upon in the second phase of the tutorial. For now, maybe you guys have ideas in the comments section. Thank you so much, The Game Over Guy, for your awesome game and for starting this conversation. Moving on. So the next game is going to be They're Coming. Help is on the way. They're coming help is on the way. Uh, there is a nice website here. I like it. I like it. Let's see how that plays out. They are coming, help is on the way, score zero, press any button to start. I will. Multiply incoming threats, Radar shows five ways. Help is on the way. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> it's funny to go from the dog game where you were moving so fast to this game now, my ship feels like really slow. But I can already appreciate the fact that this is a, um, a game again when somebody tried to get away from the Space Invader style to a more modern. Um, ooh, what is this? Is this a pickup? What is this? Oh, it's a pickup. So the oranges are. There's something in the oranges? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm shooting faster. Radar shows three waves. Backup has been delayed. Oh, no! Oh, whoa, I'm... Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, okay. I'm, I'm not getting any faster, am I? Did I, did I go... There is, on the top right corner, there is some kind of display that I don't quite understand. I think this may be the strength of my shot. Is that possible? Yeah, I think I'm on maximum strength. Oh, I got hit, I got hit there, and that was, that was on me. Oh, and now, the gradius effect, I lost all of my shots. And I have to get them back, oof! Oh, ho, 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 ho. when game over. All right, let's try again. 
You can do it. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's nice. It's nice. Very wholesome. Find power ups and meteors. Oh, they are meteors. The oranges are meteors. Got it. But they didn't give me a meteor. Why did? Uh, why? So meteors are very, very fast. Also, I'm gonna talk about what meteors are. This meteors, meteorites, and asteroids. These are three different things. You need to get them right. These are very different things. Very, very distinct from each other. Are there enemies shooting? Because I have, so far I haven't seen any enemies. Uh, okay. So what is a wave? Is the, am I just now doing a wave? Or are this just like at the beginning of this five waves? Ah, oh, see, now the enemies are... Oh, <laughs> my enemy design comes back to haunt me. Looks like the last wave. Okay, so now that a wave is basically that. that. Oh, what the... Go away! Give me an orange! Give me an orange! Ah, oh, what the? The oranges are very difficult to destroy. Radar look weird. Oh, what's this? Look at this guy! Oh, wow! What's this? Some kind of mothership? Oh, that's the guy shooting the asteroids, huh? Oh! I'm on my last life. Oh, something is exploding. Is that the guy shooting the asteroids? Is that the idea? Well, he's kind of helping me, right? Okay, more asteroids. Oh, there's one. Oh, I think I destroyed different things. The different... Uh, uh, oh, look at the slow explosion. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, there's some flashing happening. You did it! We never knew... Uh, never. <laughs> we knew you never needed our help. <laughs> New high score. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, press left, right buttons to restart. I'm pressing left, right, but it's not restarting. Okay. So what did we think? I liked it. I think that was a very nice and, and concise game. I like, I always appreciate when people are taking the tutorial and they're trying to get away from the rigidness of the Space Invader thing and trying to come up with their own solutions for how to make this more um, dynamic. This worked very well, I thought. I do have to say that maybe I would have wished maybe one more enemy that behaved a little bit differently, maybe one enemy that stays around and, and then maybe moves back and forth or something, because it felt like all of the enemies were basically kamikaze in downwards, like just attacking downwards, and there was just one enemy that was going to swoop in. Didn't feel that there were too many enemy bullets happening, so it's just like you just stay there and shoot all the time and then try to get the asteroids every now and then. Uh, I felt like I think there's more potential here to make more interesting enemy encounters. The individual levels didn't feel that different from each other, although I did notice that, you know, uh, with more time, more dangerous for enemies were coming in, like the, the sideways swooping ones. I think that was an example of, of, of subtle and, and you know, not, not too elaborate storytelling happening. You know, the titles, they're coming, and every uh, on every wave there was this promise that they're coming, but they're, the, the help was delayed, and after, at the end, you solve it yourself. I think that was sweet. Uh, I don't think a shmup in, of this size needs any more storytelling. I felt that was that worked very well. The boss fight was interesting. It was not a traditional kind of boss fight that we had in the tutorial, but kind of like something weird was happening. I appreciated that. Also, I have to say, I really like when bosses are consist of individual parts that can be destroyed individually. I didn't do that in the tutorial, and I'm glad somebody tried to uh, make one happen here. It worked pretty well, I thought. Overall, a neat, enjoyable experience. I like that. Next up, we have um, S Schmup by Freaky MO. I always forget to read the, the name uh, of the authors. I, I'm, I'm really bad at that. I'm sorry. Website looks okay. Looks okay. I wish I, there were some screenshots. There are some screenshots. <laughs> People are really like using this uh, Gruber music. Uh, I think Gruber music may make like a pack of like free music you can use for your games and I think a lot of people are even end up using this. It's good music though. Alright, nice title screen. Cool logo, S Shmup. Shmup. Okay, fire bombs, that's nice. Ooh! 
Okay, okay, what's happening? Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so these guys are attacking like in the tutorial. Oh, wave approaching. That's not a wave we're in right now. Oh, nice. So we have like the random spawning enemies that look more like a regular shmup, like a modern shmup. But you also have like the space emitter waves approaching in between there. That's kind of a cool idea. I like that. So let's do a bomb. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's good, that's good. So that's kind of like a bomb, um, like we had a tutorial. Yeah. Nice. The enemies have different colors. Some of them, yeah, the red ones seem to be very fast, huh? Ooh, what is this? What is this? This is oh one up. Yes, baby. Oh, there's the, there we go. First baby. Oh, what? Wave approaching. I'm I'm down. I'm down. I'm okay. I'm okay with wave approaching. Oh man, it, I'm jealous. It already looks so much more dynamic. Because you have like all the enemies flying in constantly, but then in between you have the waves. It feels a lot less rigid, and so also the waves can be smaller. Oh, that was level one only? <gasps> wow. <laughs> it's funny that there's a timer on there. Oh, look, the enemies are behaving differently. <gasps> now they're already getting attacked. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Gotta get those enemies. And ignore the rest of those enemies. You don't have to shoot up every shoot it down everything, right? That's how it works. Oh! I'm gonna oh I have to spend some bombs, I guess. Spend some bombs. Boom! Oh man, this is some good sound effects that got feel very very arcadey. I like that. Look, it feels like like I'm in an arcade already. Like wheel, wheel, wheel. Sounds like Pac-Man right there. What is C? What is C though? I know the B was bomb, and the and the lightning was one up. C. Oh, oh. oh man. Here, one up. That's good. Another bomb. Oh. Is that just points? Is that just like metal? Ooh. Oh, see, that's that's good. That's using sounds to kind of like indicate, yeah, there's something happening here. Ooh, yes, nice bullet spread. I like that. And that's a nice and creepy face. Yes, nice and animated. Ooh, exploding! That wasn't the final boss! How many levels? Oh, look at this, There's some weird orbs. I will consider the orb. Whoa, what are these orbs doing? What are this, these orbs even doing? I don't even... Oh my gosh. Get those orbs. Oh, bomb, yes. Oh, life, yes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh! Oh yeah, yeah, no, this is, this is cool, this is cool. I like the, the levels feel nice and dynamic. Like there's all, all sorts of things happening on the screen, that's good. And you have to make like decisions whether you want to engage with an enemy or not, it's good. Okay, uh, I got full lives now, that's good. And because I'm, I'm a baller, oh no, I lost the life! Why <laughs> oh, you hurt me like this? Okay. Level four. No boss. No boss on the, on level three. Why? Why? No? Oh, there's a bomb. That was a bomb. Uh oh. Oh man, if you shoot it, it explodes. Oh, I like it. I like it. That's a cool enemy design. Where it ex explodes if you don't shoot it down, and then and ah, oh, Jesus. Oh gosh. I don't, you don't want it exploded right in your face, right? Oh, look at me, look at me. Oh, no! Oh, you can, oh, you can go for, oh. So, it, it, the, the level loops through. So, if you leave the um, stage on one end, you appear on the other side, which usually is good. I mean, it gives you more mobility, but also, ooh. Oh, what the? Oh, man, I lost all my lives now. I really need a light up here. Throw me a bone! Throw me a bone! Throw me a bone, game! Ah!
All right, let's give it another try. All right, back in level four. Let's see how that works out. So again, with those bombs, there are a pretty vicious enemies, I have to say. They, um, so that's, I, I really like this game design where it's like, kind of like, it punishes the player if they don't shoot down the bombs, but then also, ah, uh, that wasn't good. But then also giving you all those reasons why you maybe would not shoot down the bombs. I, I think that's, that's, that's good. I have to say this game is, is brutal in level 4. If there is so much happening suddenly, it takes a while to get here. Ah, oh, no! Okay, I'm going to do one more attempt. All right, here we go, baby. <laughs> here we go. Another attempt at level 4. This time I have, I feel like I have more resources. Is that true? Maybe I, I can make it through here. So I tell you, this this game gets really brutal. This is really brutal. The combination of all those different enemies. Oh, what? Why didn't the red enemy die? I was shooting at it so much. I think I can just like I'm gonna use more of the bomb. There's my life. There's getting the bomb back. Using the bomb again. Yes, yes, yes. Using some of my resources. Oh yeah. I wish the metal the medals are really disappointing when you get them. Because it's like, oh I don't I don't that doesn't help me at all. That just makes the number go up. Oh what? Oh man, that was like impossible to avoid. Oh, is that the final boss? Oh look at this guy. Oh what? No! Well, this is gonna be it for today for me. I will have to come back to this one. Um, I feel uh, this is a really cool game. This is, um, um, uh, uh, again, I always say that, but I really like, appreciate the attempts to make this into a more dynamic, kind of like modern schmuck. This was a good attempt at doing this, combining the waves with the, uh, the more organic spawns. Now, I would say one thing, and that is kind of like something that we have with other games as well. Once you st start um, spawning the enemies randomly at random locations, uh, you kind of get very um, wild, wildly swingy. Uh, challenges. Sometimes it just doesn't matter at all. Some enemies spawn and you just like can ignore them. Sometimes it, you get just, like those very crunchy, very difficult to deal with formations and it swings wildly between the two. It's quite unpre unpredictable what happens. That's why you generally in shmups you kind of want to design the formations when they're spawning and time them so the encounters feel more uh, deliberate. Um, also I felt like the first level was way too long. Like there, there's almost no challenge whatsoever in the first level and I still have to play through an entire level to get to the point where the game gets really hard. So I would maybe like shorten the early levels a little bit and then get to the, to the action. I feel like the second level, it gets a bit complicated. Third level, that gets really crunched because the red enemies starting to flow in. Fourth level is where I get overwhelmed. But it's a cool game. I like it a lot. Well done. Good job. We'll definitely come back to it in a stream. Next up, we have Dart 07, and I saw this game before. I never played it, but it looks amazing. Look, we have scrolling background. Can you believe it? I cannot. This is a really nice website too, explaining all of the power-ups. Oh, oh, look at this. Like, it'll break down of the screen, how far you are, score, available power-ups, available shockwave charges, health. <gasps> And there's even like a like a making of kind of technical challenges tackling this game. Oh, let's see, let's see what the game is. In the background matches the background, but I think I think the um, embed is a bit too narrow because some of the buttons seem to be cut off. <laughs> I like how the controls have their own menu, but but you kind of have to enter the menu <laughs> in order to. Uh, to uh, read the controls, so it feels like by the time you can you have you have the controls figured out, you you don't need to read this anymore. Um, is that P? Press P. Yeah, that's cool. No, I, I but all I appreciate having more information. Ooh, look at this mission one, mission two, man. Oh, oh, that's so sweet. Oh, that looks so good. The menu looks so good. Oh, multi cards. So the person is using the developer using multi card. I haven't even. Again, I forgot to mention the name of the developer. Yes, this looks good. Oh. Yes, so see, these are custom designed formations. These are not just random. Ooh. Oh. Yes. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, yes. And now from the other side, yeah, there's like this 
um, Toplan pattern, I think it's, it's called, where it's like you have an enemy attacking from the left and then you get just the same enemy attacking from the right. So you have to go left and right on the screen. That uh, creates like this nice flow through the, the stage. Okay, let's get this. Oh, so this is just the same power up, right? What is the. I'm not sure what the power up is doing. I, I have to, I guess, look at the. the website for, for the power-ups. Okay, what is this? I picked up and I don't know what it did. So you have to, it would be nice maybe some if there was like a text appearing. Um, you pick up a power-up to explain what a power-up does. Oh no, I got hit and I lost my power-up. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Oh man. Yeah, getting hit doesn't, doesn't register that clearly. Who is the... Oh, I'm getting overwhelmed. <laughs> Immediately dead! Oh, holy crap! Uh, let's see what, what the power-ups are doing. So heart, uh, you have mm, you can have maximum 10 hearts to lose one or whatever you take damage. Fast movement increases player movement speed, does not accumulate loss and damage, okay? Um, fast shot increases the shooting speed, does not accumulate. It can be combined with the triple shot loss and damage. Triple shot and shockwave charge, okay? All right. Ooh, uh, I accidentally did sh shockwave charged. Do, do you start with two shockwave charges? Is that the idea? Ah, oh, man. So here's something that I find odd. Like it's, uh, you, this enemy has so much health, you kind of really can't really afford to shoot him down. I feel like that's always a bit frustrating. Um, we had that also in other games as well, where uh, I think in Air, 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 Air Commander, the Air, Air Raid Commander, yeah, where the challenge was basically shoot the enemy early enough so, so you even get the chance to shoot them down. Because if you don't shoot them early enough, then you may, might just well not engage them at all. Oh man, look at this! Not engaging the enemies is being punished like crazy! Oh, I have some charges. Let's do the charges. Ah! I feel like getting hit is not being communicated clear enough. It feels like, uh, again, there's no biggie. Yeah, yeah, like just like whatever, got, got hit, you can tank it, you know? Oh, I love how, how the enemies are burning. It's so cool. Just give a charge here. And there's a lot of upgrades we're picking up that are completely pointless. I already have a triple charge, so there's no, no reason for me to get another triple charge, so that upgrade doesn't feel important. Let's do another. Okay, another health, that's good. Oh, I think we're almost at the end of the stage. Oh, this is a this is a juicy, juicy game. There's a lot happening here. Let's do another charge. I don't even. I don't even. Oh man, I. I want to pick up both uh, power-ups. <gasps> it's the boss fight! Yes! Oh, what? <laughs> Have you seen this? Oh, man. Oh, that, that caught me by, by surprise. <laughs> Easy peasy, no problem. Oh man, but it's just one level, the other one's still at work. Oh man, I love it, this is so good. Yeah, no, this is an amazing achievement. Like the fact that the background is scrolling, that's difficult to pull off. That's something that we will address in phase two of the tutorial, I mean, after, after later, later. Yeah, but it's amazing that Beachwood Paul, the creator of this game, went there. This looks incredibly polished, incredibly detailed. This, a lot of work went into this and wow, it shows. There's some gameplay things that I would nitpick. Again, nitpicking just like little nitpicks. I felt uh, quite often I had upgrades that just didn't do anything for me and that's always a bit of a bummer. Uh, it's always a good idea to think about, okay, what happens if the uh, player already has that, uh, that upgrade? If there's maybe something you get points at least, or um, maybe the whole entire upgrade system works differently so that you, uh, there's a reason for picking it up, picking upgrades up even after 
you uh, are, or have some upgrade ready. I also felt like some of the upgrades were just like, I didn't feel they did much, like moving uh, speed upgrade didn't feel much. And the moving speed thing is, I've seen it a lot of times in other shmups, it's not necessarily always better to move faster, right? It's, I know old shmups have this, like uh, Gradius had this, where you have like speed upgrade, and you know, Gradius was moving very slow in, in, a, in a base level, so that felt like really good to be able to move faster. But modern shmups quite often, you want to move the right speed, not too fast, not too slow. For example, in British Hell shmups, you have a button that slows you down because sometimes it's actually better to be able to move slower so we can weave between the bullets better. So just like speed is not necessarily a good thing. Uh, also, there's like a faster shot upgrade and I didn't feel it. I didn't feel that I'm shooting a lot faster. Maybe it was shooting faster, but not a lot faster. And yeah, some of the enemies felt a bit spongy. But no, man, this is, this is an impressive achievement, like really going into phase two territory. There's a bunch of shmups that were already kind of like anticipating what we're going to talk about uh, later. And that's definitely one of those. I hope, I really, really hope that Paul will continue working on this project because man, this, this turns out to be one hell of a shmup for Pico 8. I love it. Next up, we have uh, Swarmed by Jemigans. Now, I've seen this. I know I've not played this, but this is this is an amazing schmuck that does something that is quite unintuitive. And that is, we're going to take Pico 8, which has already low res resolution, and we're going to make this even more lower resolution. So this is 64 by, times 64, I think. So it's kind of like half the resolution of Pico 8, or a, a quarter of the pixels, I guess. Um, and so, uh, but look at that. Look at some of the animations. They are really nice and juicy. I like it. I like the website too. Very simple, but it does the job. Let's see. Let's see. Swarmed. Oh, Ruba music again. Ha. Ooh, nice and movie intro. I like it. <laughs> there's that. There's that music again that we are so familiar with. Is that a power up? That's a power up. What is the Z doing? Oh, oh, I think that's, that's my uh, cherry bomb, basically, right? Oh, yeah, that's right, that's a cherry bomb. <laughs> that's good. Oh, it's so, it looks so cute, so tiny! Oh, the enemies are quite spongy. Ooh, yeah, there's not a lot of opportunity to avoid that attack when it comes at you, right? I'm gonna let that enemy pass. Oh, I like I like the background. How, look how how instead of the stars we have those blobs. I feel like they they really feel. Um, it's just something different. It's just something different, and and that's, oh, uh, <laughs> and and I I like that a lot. It's, it's um it makes the screen more readable because we don't have that much noise. It's just like these very nice and soft blobs. It's really cute. Very spongy enemies. Ooh, look at those balls. Oh! Oh, what? My shot doesn't destroy the balls! This, or, or did I? Oh, man, see, I, I just, I cannot safely engage this enemy anymore. I just have to wait until it goes away. Last life, last life. Oh, final boss. <laughs> okay. Those bullets are too fast. They, you cannot avoid those bullets. This is not how it's supposed to work. It's not supposed to be like this. This has to be slower, man. Let's try again. Okay, back in the boss again. Oh, Jesus Christ! You cannot avoid those bullets! <sighs> we did this in the tutorial. We did this in the tutorial. Have you been paying attention? The bullets are supposed to destroy the enemy bullets. That's the idea of the bomb, man. Okay, again, on the boss. On the boss. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Got, got your boss, got your boss. Okay, there's a gap between the bullets and I can exploit this or what? Oh, he's uh, doing the... Uh, oh, yeah, to see, that's, that's, that's a reasonable bullet attack. That's something that you can move around. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's okay. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, that's... Oh, we see, that could be a lot more denser. You could fire them a lot more denser. 
would be also okay. Ooh, okay. Oh yeah, I, we are very familiar. We are very familiar with this boss pattern. That's okay. That's okay. Ah. Uh, I, I, I'm glad I destroyed it now because I don't know if I would have survived another of the phase, uh, the first phase attacks. <laughs> you defeated the Swarm Lord! I did! No, this is good. This is good. I like this a lot. Uh, I, I like the challenge of going low res. Uh, I think it's quite often it adds a lot of more readability because you don't have too much pixels. You can't get lost in nitty gritty details. You have to work in broad strokes and that often makes up for really expressive screen layouts. I like that. It really feels like the tutorial schmuck brought it down to its, its very basics. The enemies felt very different from each other. The, it was stylistically very consistent, like it felt like everything was made by the same person, by somebody who has a really good grip on pixel art. I really appreciated that. I think just in two, one or two places in the final boss and one of the enemies, I think the shots were coming about a bit too fast. I think the boss could also have slower shots, but um, more of them. I think because you they were flying so slow, then you could really just saturate the screen with, with bullets and you could like navigate between the shots. That would be easy to pull off. And a better challenge than just like the, you know, the uh, quick reflexes dodging of very, very fast bullets, especially since the screen is so small, you just don't see the bullet coming. No, but this is a fantastic result. Fantastic result by Jim against. Well done, sir. Now, the next one is going to be um, a work in progress Toho fan game. You can tell that things are working in progress when they upload the card, the actual card PNG as the thumbnail of the game. That seems... That's a graphic doing things it's not supposed to be doing. And, and that already tells you, I think, where we're going. There's some nice text happening. That's nice. I accidentally watched Chris, the Christmas tutorial video. I like that. Like, oops, accidentally. <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, what's happened? I, I tripped and pressed on a button on YouTube suddenly. <laughs> but I like that. Uh, no, it's also, so it is a... <laughs> English is not my first language. I'm right here with you, my brother. Or sister. Potato 815. Um, um, yeah, let's see, let's see. A Toho fan game. I like Toho. I like, I like fan games. Press a, um, circle or cross to start, and that's some kind of bird. Can move around. Oh, that's a Toho image. 18 meters. So it seems like it's not a shmup per se, but it's kind of like a doodle jump kind of situation where you have to go as high as you can. So, oh, I can flap basically. Oh, I can I can I can go sideways. Okay, 30 meters. Uh, I can just avoid to put those bullets. I cannot I don't have to press any buttons. Ooh. I wonder what the Toho part of this is supposed to be. Because this looks very different from Toho. I mean, photo uh, Toho. I got hit by a bullet and immediately. Oh wait! Oh look! If I if you flap, you lose your health basically, right? Should I supposed to eat the? No, I'm not. I'm not sure what's happening. Um, so one of the one thing of the bad is that um, your character has inertia which is usually not something, you definitely don't have that in Toho and you generally don't like to have that in uh, Schmups. Uh, we already had that in different uh, entries. Um, I think for a, a Voider game that might not be the worst thing because it's kind of like moving around is kind of like the only thing you do. So maybe that's not the best, uh, not the worst. And uh, I don't, I'm not sure why I died right now. I'm not sure why. It seems like nothing really hit me. It seems like I'm trying to avoid the bullets, right? But like, I just, sometimes I just die. I don't know why. Yeah, like, originally I usually draw pixel art. Yeah, I can, I can tell, yeah. Yeah, it tracks, it's, it looks nice. I, I programmed sometimes before, but it's my first making a game. In addition, code was twisted as much as spaghetti. <laughs> Mom spaghetti. Please let me know if there's any good way to improve the game. Um, I just, uh, I don't know what the goal is and how, what the fail states are. It seems like I'm dying every now and then and I don't know why. And I just would love to know why. 
I, it, there, there seems to be, the goal is to live as long as possible for now, but it seems like, like I died at 25 meters, but also I had a different playthrough where I was at 30 meters, so I'm not sure what's happening here. Um, so better feedback, better manual, I think is something that would be very important here. It's a work in progress, so it's really hard to, hard to say what is finished and just like not well explained, or what is just completely not finished and that's why you don't understand it. But it looks promising, definitely keep working on this and let me know when you're finished and then we can go back to it and play it again. Next up, we have Hero of the Circinus Galaxy by uh, Michael Denatus Ellenbrand. So this doesn't seem like it's a PQ8 game. It seems like it's made by uh, in with some kind of engine. Maybe Unity, maybe uh, Unreal Engine. We are going to have to find out. Oh, it seems like it's Unity. All right, that answers the question. Ooh. Oh, but look at that frame rate. Oof. Yeah, oh, we're not gonna play it like this. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Oh. I have to say, so far, all of the games made in different engines of Pico 8 have been a huge disappointment when it comes to the HTML5 export. We are blessed in Pico 8 community with how well our engine exports the HTML5 and how horrible this works with different engines. No, we're not gonna play this this way. Oh, my, my computer is trying to take off to outer space. All right, I've purchased the game, actually. And this allows me to actually play this now. This looks completely different. This is the, the whole new world. Different difficulty settings, I appreciate that. This is a very polished UI. Okay, let's see. A galaxy has been invaded and needs you. Wow. Alpha Circini, one of 13. Ooh. Yes, yes. Wow, look at those camera changes. And there's the enemies coming down, like in a tutorial. The same way. Oh, wow. Well, they're a little bit spongy, I would say. A little bit spongy. Game over! Actane, dang god. It. <laughs> oh, this, is, this is like a leaderboard, right? Like a real leaderboard. They are quite spongy, those enemies. And explosions are a bit, like, small-ish. Oh, is that a bomb? Is that a power-up? I... Ooh, yeah, the contrast. Hmm, that's something I'm gonna have to talk about later. I, for now, I have to concentrate. I have to concentrate. I have to say the bullets are nice and real. Oh, what? It's just, it's just, just like you, you get hit once and that's it? Is that how it works? I made it to online leaderboard. Pat, 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 pat. How many all... Why is the leaderboard... Where am I? Where am I? There is no... I'm all the way on place 20. Well, not anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight myself all the way up to the... I haven't even defeated one wave. Come on! Very epic music, a bit too epic maybe. Oh, what? The bomb just destroyed... Oh, there's a cherry. What does the cherry do? Is that different from... Like a bomb? How does that... Oh, three bombs. Is that three bombs? Oh no, oh, wait, wait, wait. The, the bomb is not a bomb. Oh, spread shot. Yeah, now we're talking. Where? Where were the updates before? I didn't get any upgrades before, but now they're, they're, they're coming quick and fast. Well, see, now I'm just only bones. I can just stay here and just destroy everything. Oh, the, what's with the update? Have you have guys have learned nothing from from uh, Legend of Zelda? People don't like when the weapons they got go away. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's get that guy get, get away. Okay, Le wave 3 of 13. I'm getting a lot better at this game. Get those guys done. Yes, yes, let's just launch a bomb. What's the check? Oh, that's... Oh, there's health. I see there's health. There's a health meter that went up. That's what the cherry did. Replenish my health.
Yes, yes, this looks a lot better now. Okay, oh, wave four now. There's asteroids, okay. Oh no! Wow! It, I don't know! It's... I, I don't know when when I go like I don't have a feeling of whenever I'm on the last life or or not like it, there's it's just like sometimes I just get hit and die and that's it. Did I get I got hit before? I'm gonna pay attention to my life now. I, I just like I didn't feel like I got hit at all, and then suddenly I'm dead. You know. So wait, so there's cherry and there's health? I don't, I don't, how does that work? Does cherry replenish some health? Oh, see, I got hit now. I, I felt that, I guess. What? I, that was an update! Let me pick up the updates! Why, why did it go from the level? Stop the level, but I felt like I left something on the board. I think we're gonna have to uh, consider the manual on the website. Uh, I don't know what updates are doing, they're very confusing to me. The upgrades, I need mean, the pickups. Oh, I got hit by a bullet. I felt that bullet. Okay. But so, so I can get hit three times? Is that the idea? It feels like I lost a third of my life. Okay, so this replenished my life. Oh wait, so are these the sideways attack enemies that I that I taught you? They're the sideways attack enemies, aren't they? Aren't they? They are. Four of thirteen. That's right. So we are getting a. So these spread shots feel like they're, like it doesn't feel like you can navigate between the sh individual shots, uh, which is a bit of a bumsky. Kind of hard to tell because there's like this foreshortening, the perspective shortening, foreshortening happening. I don't have a good feel on the on the box. Okay. But yeah, it seems like I have two of three. Okay. Music stopped. Oh, I don't have I have used all of my bombs. But, but now I picked up some something, so maybe now I can. Ah, oh, that didn't feel good. But hit. This is my last life. Oh, I picked up the cherry. And cherry gave me some health back? I don't know. Is, is that enough to s sustain a shot? I'm not sure. Wait. I have, I have 13 bombs? Oh, there is a cooldown on the bombs? Why is the cooldown on the bombs? Come on! What's this game? I've been complaining more right now. I'm like, what? No! Oh, wait! <laughs> some, some bizarre decisions. It's like, I'm hoarding the bombs now because I just don't get to use them that often. Now I have the power up, but <laughs> it's like there's no enemies left anymore. <laughs> that doesn't feel nice. What? I, oh yeah, of course, I cannot shoot two bombs in succession, that's right. I have to wait until after, after I shot a bomb to be able to shoot another bomb. In addition to the bomb also casting 
that. Oh man, this is this is not good. This is this is I'm, I'm in trouble right now. This, this is not good. Oh man, the hitbox seems to be gigantic. Okay, uh, level eight out of thirteen. I'm not sure if this is the same level I was at previously because I feel like the levels are looking like the the visuals are different. I think it might have been the same level. I do remember this big ship here. This is causing me a lot of distress. Oh, see, I got hit. I got hit. I got hit just now. Oh, I got hit again? By what? What even? Yeah, baby. Oh! Okay. Let's just stay here. I'm just not gonna engage at all. He just is now <laughs> with a tricky situation. I just cannot get under the guy because I like a spreadshot would just like completely eradicate me. So I have to wait. He's gone. And level uh, uh, wave nine of thirteen. Seems like there's some randomization happening because uh, I, I could have sworn there was a asteroid level I uh, uh, when I was last time. I'm gonna pick up the cherry. The cherry seems like the it gives a minuscule amount of health back. Uh, like, so little that it actually doesn't make any difference. Yeah, let's get those guys killed, because um, when the guys die, they sometimes drop a power-ups, and that obviously is a knock-on effect, so you kind of want the guys to die. For example, this upgrade has just completely like you win. That's the win the game update uh, upgrade. What was the update? I mean, power upgrade. Just let. Oh, look at my health. I have just a sliver of. How 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 is it even possible? Oh, look at this guy. I'm gonna bomb him. Bomb again. Come on. Bomb again. Wow. I, he he's eaten two bombs. Still not bad, huh? I'm gonna get that health. Oh, let's get this health. Oh, very concentrated right now. It's very intense now. The music is swelling up. Cannot bomb, cannot bomb, I just bombed. Cannot bomb. Ooh, this is this is a lot of bullets approaching me right now. Oh I got hit! Ooh, that's a lot of bullets. How 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 do you even how do you even dodge this, huh? See, now it would be nice to have a bomb that actually takes care of the bullets somehow. Uh oh, oh, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. How do I even see? What do I even do here, right? What do I even? Okay, thanks, thanks, thanks for getting out of the way. What? No way! Okay, I'm gonna. That's gonna be it. Wow, it's. Uh, I don't even know what to say here because there's a lot happening here. Obviously, 3D kind of game, kind of uh, completely different ballpark. It's not Pico 8 even more anymore. So kind of like the restrictions are different. Um. I like this. I wouldn't mind playing it some more. I probably can also complete it. It seems like I have the tools to complete it. I would just have to concentrate. There are some gameplay things that I'm not so hot about. First of all, I don't like how the like there's very little explanation about the power-ups, what the power-ups do, and how the power-ups work. There is no there is controls explained here, that's good. But there is no list of the power-ups and there is no manual in the game as well. There's just no way to find out what these things do. I feel like the small cherry gives a little bit health and there's a health pack which gives a lot of health. There is a bomb, there's spread shot, and, but there's also like the triple bomb, which I don't know what that is. And one thing is that I felt the power-ups, like especially the spread shot power-up was crazy overpowered. And because it seems like the power-ups are coming randomly, um, how far I got in the game was basically dependent on whether I got enough of the spreadshot uh, power-ups. 
because getting those just basically means that you win the level. Like you spread so much, you do so much damage, so much more damage than your regular shot. Then you just like basically skip the entire level. So you just keep shooting at enemies until the spreadshot power-ups comes. You pick it up, you win the level, move on to the next level. And if no spreadshot power-up comes, then you are in trouble, my friend. So it's very swingy and dependent on RNG. There's a cooldown on the bomb, and I I don't know why. I don't I don't know what I like. Hmm. Usually you uh, add things like cooldowns or limited ammunition because you feel like ah this is a power up that is too powerful and we need to nerf it somehow. Like it's we have to make it somehow weaker because people are uh, overusing this and it breaks the game if people are overusing this. I don't feel like the bomb in this game is broken. I feel it's kind of like very limited in scope, it doesn't feel very powerful. So having this double nerf where you, you have ammunition for it and there's a cooldown on it feels a bit random. It doesn't feel like there's a reasoning for this. I like that the game uh, creates situations where there's a lot of bullets. It feels like you can avoid the bullets fairly well. Um, I wish I had opportunities or ways of um, clearing the bullets somehow, uh, making the bomb, make the bullets go away or something like this. I felt a lot of times I was in a situation where I was in getting encroached and closed by the bullets and I would have appreciated some kind of way of dealing with this other than just avoiding. There is some things I feel and that's why I really like Pico 8 and that's why I feel like going to bigger engines doesn't really so solve problems, it just creates more problems. I feel there is a lot of situations that um, where it was kind of difficult to read the situation. Um, let me give you some examples. Um, there is foreshortening, perspective foreshortening happening, and I understand that. Like, you have a 3D engine, and all of these are 3D objects, you want to show off the 3D. I understand that. And there is games that are really good that work this way, like uh, Eskatos, for example. But because there's this foreshortening happening, uh, I'm not shooting straight. I'm shooting, like, into the screen, and so it's kind of difficult to judge where you, how you are aligned with enemies or bullets coming at you. There is just, like, things are... Uh, it's just difficult to map like the projection onto, onto straight lines, right? Same thing with collision detection. I felt like a lot of times I got hit by the bullet and I didn't really see it coming. I didn't feel like, like the hitbox seemed too big, too chunky. But also I feel like there is, once you get hit, you immediately go, go game over. And it would have been nice to like freeze the screen and show you like this is the why you died, you know? <laughs> and these kind of details really help communicating the game state to the player can help a player uh, internalize the hitbox and, and, you know, the game mechanics. And if things suddenly, like, disappear and you're going game over, you're like, whoa, what happened? You know, I didn't, I didn't see anything. Like, if I saw the bullet, then I would have avoided it. But I, clearly, I didn't see the bullet. That's why I got hit. And then that's why you should throw me the bullet to, to make me learn how to recognize, you know, the dangers in this game. I talked about before, but personally, I prefer having individual lives, like chunky integer lives, instead of the flexible health bar. I quite often, I wasn't really sure if I had enough health to sustain a hit or not, right? It, is, this is my last hit, or can I tank one more shot, right? I just cannot tell, really, because the health bar is kind of like, it doesn't have any notches there. I don't know how much I lose when I get hit by something. Do they? Do some sh are some shots more powerful than others? I just these are things I just don't know, and it makes the whole health situation very murky and not really well understandable. And additionally, I felt like, for example, um, there are some contrast issues. Like the ships are are sometimes difficult to see against the background. They kind of like purple ships against purple background, but not a lot of ways of distinguishing them from the background. Uh, bullets are nice and visible. That's really important and really good. I like that. Uh, power-ups sometimes are not really recognizable as power-ups unless you know that's the shape of the power-up. You know, we had in the tutorial, we had like this thing where the power-ups are blinking to, to, to make them really pop. Uh, a lot of those things from the tutorial are not really applicable if you change the engine. Yeah, again, I'm now in nitpicking mode. I'm starting to complain about a game that is essentially pretty awesome. I have to go back to this. I have to give it my full attention. I think I can get through it. I, can, I think I can get way higher on that leaderboard. I had a lot of fun with this one. Definitely will return to this so to get all the way through. Thank you so much, Michael. That was amazing. Next up, we have Super Schmup. Now, that's a stylish... Uh, see, I like that. I like that. There's a nice little font used for the, for the caption, right? And the same font is used here, so everything looks like it's made by the same person. I love it. 
Weapon upgrade shields, bombs. Okay, got it. Animated gifts. That's how you make a website, baby. Oh, the baby. Okay, Shifu, let's go. High score zero. Uh, there's lots of UI on this. Ooh, is that a heli carrier, basically? Oh, look at this. We're starting from a heli carrier. Yes. Ooh, green shots. Ooh, look at that planet! Look at our oh, asteroids! No way. <laughs> it's funny that the planet looks exactly as the asteroids, but you can shoot down the asteroids. You cannot shoot down the planet. Who is the person? Who is that person who is bold enough to be like, I'm gonna make the planets sh shoot downable? Ooh! Double shots! Yes! I like it. I like it. Oh wow, those le the levels look very dynamic because you, you know you get one level after another, one wave after another. Oh yes. Ooh, look at that guy. He attacked me from the sides, but he didn't go as slow as my designs. Wave four out of ten. Ooh. Oh, I have bomb. I didn't even use the bomb. Oh, the bomb goes in all directions. <laughs> Now that's a bomb, baby. Oh, that's a boss fight right there. Yes, that's, that's a nice boss fight. Mid-boss, basically. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho! Look at that laser! Dodgeable. I appreciate it. Looks still awesome and dangerous. I love it. I love it. That's how you make a boss fight. Reasonable. Oh, now, oh, look, he has multiple attacks. And it's just a mid-boss. It's just a mid-boss. Oh, 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 that's cool. This is one heck of a game. So is the green my shot, basically, right? I, I, I saw the yellow upgrades, so that's bomb. Okay, got it. But I don't know what the blue one is. I have not, I have yet to see a blue upgrade. There's a green one, I already have to... Wait! Is my shot stronger yet? Oh, there's a blue one! Oh, I got a shield. Oh, that's a shield. Ah, so it's one of those. So now I can get hit once and I don't lose life. Is that the idea? How much life do I have anyway? I, I don't see any help, like, life indicator. Is it just one life? Is that one of those games? So, picking up green upgrade basically doesn't do anything anymore because I'm fully upgraded. Is that the idea? Power plus. Oh, another boss. <gasps> Look at that pattern. Look at that pattern. Bullet hell like there's no tomorrow. Yes. Oh, oh. Dangerous, dangerous. If he had done the bullet pattern there, I would have been dead. Not dead. I'm alive. I live. Oh! <laughs> what a way to, to wake me up. I was getting complacent. Oh, I love that. The... Can you believe how crazy Intricate those mid-boss fights are? Oh no, this is the final boss. Never mind, this is the final boss. <gasps> I've defeated the game? Yes! <laughs> nice! Oh wow! Yeah, no, this was this was good. Very, very nice and polished. Um, just right length. I like that there is a mid-boss and an end-boss. The bosses are super complicated, different attack patterns and everything. I love that. Um, it, it was on the easy side, but I'm not going to complain about that, honestly, because, I mean, my own game is also on the easy side, so that's okay. A really nice feedback on the shots, I felt. The, um, there's different enemies, they felt distinct. Also, the, like, because the waves keep coming very quickly, it felt very um, dynamic. It didn't feel like in, in, in Cherry Bomb, where you have like those levels and then stop and then level, but it felt like, you know, things were just happening constantly. There was constantly asteroids coming in, so I like that. I will say that 
color coding the upgrades. You can do that, but I think there should be another way of coding things because there are some people who have um, difficulties recognizing colors, like if they have, uh, they're colorblind. And for them, color just if things are looked exactly the same, but just a different color, they cannot uh, uh, differentiate the different things. So generally, a good strategy for every any type of game, even for board games, is to you can color code things, it's okay, but you should also use shape as a different way of uh, distinguishing things from each other. So in this case, like there's different upgrades, the green, blue, and uh, yellow. It would be nice, for example, one of them was a square, the other is a circle, another is a triangle or something like this. Or maybe using like icons that, that clarify what these things mean, other than just the color. But otherwise, it's a very, very solid shmup. I like it. I like the UI. I like the things that are happening here. Very consistent, very clear and stylish. Shifu, that's an excellent job right there. Our next game is going to be Clear Your Mind by Skowish. Uh, that is definitely a website that has been touched by, by a human hand. That's good. I would say the background is a bit busy. So like the Clear Your Mind text is not really well readable. I would maybe... Although, no, actually, that's not a bad. Mm, clear mind is not really well readable as a, as, a, as a caption. I think I would maybe make the background a bit less busy there. Mm, yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. There's some notes here. Let's see what happens. This seems to be, I think I've heard about this. This seems to be a weird theme. The creator is Scouch, so let's see how that works. Survive the day, shmup. Press any key to start. Alarm clock. Oh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> to kill the alarm clock. Wow! <laughs> this is the first enemy in the game? <laughs> Holy crap! That's one hell of a... What? What? No way! Cold sh... <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I well, I cannot go there. Oh, no! I don't have any bombs anymore! I will... I'm just I'm gonna have to wait it out, I guess, right? How am I even supposed to do this? I don't understand. Oh, the, oh, the attacks are random. That's not good. That's not a good. I mm. have to wait it out. Oh man, no, this is way too risky. How do I even? There's, there's no way. I just cannot do. I have to wait it out. <laughs> Come on. Come on. How? How? What? What is the deal here? Is that the idea? The cold shower? You have to just. Just have to do it. Took a little bit of the speed out here. I was like really pumped for the game, but now I just have to wait until this <laughs> hears me being grumpy and like dunking like Rrr. Yeah, finally. Alright, level three, social media showdown. Oh yeah, Twitter. Yeah, I finally I can kill Twitter. I can I get rid of that hell site. What is the other one? Is that is that? I am. Oh 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 oh. Ugh, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. I, that felt like I didn't have a chance here. Yeah. Traffic jam trauma. Holy crap! Somebody is like doing a autobiographical schmuck here. Amazing. Holy. And, and wow, those bullet patterns are no joke. No joke. Yeah. Jesus. Oh man. Oh, what is with this green car? <laughs> Give me a break, man. What? I, did, I didn't reach the level. Is, is it because you have to go to bed now? Is it, is it bedtime? Death by data? Oh, is this gonna be data from... Oh, what? What is this? Does it work? Oh, why, is it, why is it a percentage bar? <laughs> oh, what the... What are these bullets? Come on, man! I don't have any bombs anymore. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm at the mercy of the of the of the of the boss.
This is the spicy boss. I'm gonna use the Nectane strategy. What the what? This is unfair. This is unfair. What? Okay, never mind. My hitbox is apparently tiny. Okay, this is my last life. <laughs> oh yeah, these are nice explosions. Congratulations, your mind is clear of trash. Score uh, 36,000. That's my high score. That's fun. That's a fun idea to just take a um, the tutorial shmup, the uh, cherry bomb shmup, and just put a different theme on it. I like that. The bullet patterns are super spicy. It feels like I should not have been able to do this. I, I got extremely lucky, I think, that I just was able to uh, to get through all those bullet patterns because they were fast and there were a lot of bullets. Um, some enemies, we saw that in the shower level, I think the, the enemies, that, like the bullet patterns was too dense. You could not get underneath the shower. So there's just no way to defeat the shower. I felt like that was a bit of a bummer. But otherwise, no, it's a fun game. It's it's very, <laughs> it's very intimate, very autobiographical. I can empathize with certainly with some parts of this. This is definitely a cool way of approaching making the shmup. Thank you so much. This was awesome. Now the next one is called Nightly Air Patrol, and I have not seen anything about that game, but I can already tell. Cheese 26. This sprite was not made to be displayed as a thumbnail this size. This is, this looks... Uh, okay, the website at least is not black and white. I don't see any screenshots. That would be nice to add. And I think it would be also nice to have a logo on there so we can see what the name of the game is. But let's try to play this. Cheese26 was the creator of this. Nightly Air Patrol, I think. See, there's no way of knowing how what the game is even called. It just doesn't say any, anywhere. It's just, I can see it here because it's, it's here up in the, in the website, but it's nowhere else. Uh, again, full screen button. Um, you, there's a trigger for that in, in itch.io. You can disable it because Pico8 has its own uh, full screen button. Uh, also, you don't need this preload kind of thing because, again, it has this automatically. All right, Nightly Air Patrol. Play, press a circle to start by Cheese26. Ooh, a manual line. Nice. Shoot the Night Sky Raiders and rack up points. I will. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, I can immediately see. I can immediately see that uh, this was not based on my shmup tutorial, but a different shmup tutorial. You can immediately see the difference. I think the uh, Cheese26 actually posted on the Discord and asked if that was okay. I said yes, and it is okay. Uh, but it's a good opportunity to talk about the difference between the tutorials. So now I don't know, actually, if... Uh, there's levels to this game. I don't know if I'm just like continue playing this forever or if something will change Because I know that in the original shmup tutorial, in the shmup tutorial that um, Cheese 26 was following There was, there was essentially no levels. It was basically essentially same enemy spawning randomly over and over again So I could technically play this game indefinitely, I think And yeah I think I'm gonna call it quits at this point. Right? I think I've seen everything this game has to offer. The music is is, is manic. It's a manic kind of music, I love it. Okay, I think we're gonna call it quits. Okay, so this is the tutorial that um, that Cheese26 was following. This is a Pico 8 space shooter in 16 GIFs. So that's basically my tutorial in just 16 GIFs, which is crazy. It was created back, way back when Pico 8 was starting out, when it was already there when I started out with Pico 8. And that was actually one of the first things I tried uh, by Citro Moritz, which is also, I think, the creator who of the original creator of the, of the cheat sheet. Yeah, this is a really cool tutorial because it uses the GIF function of Pico 8 to kind of like do the tutorial thing. So you just watch the 16 GIFs and then you make a simple sh shooter like this. So that's awesome. It covers a lot of things that we that we did in my, in my Shmup tutorial. So yeah, and also it's actually basically an inspiration uh, that like I, I saw this, I knew this existed and I thought, oh yeah, I'm gonna create a, 
um, my own version of this tutorial that fixes some of the problems that I've seen with this tutorial. And the problems with this tutorial are the things that we saw with uh, with this game. So the 16 gift tutorial, I mean, it's just 16 gifts. There's just so much you can do in 16 gifts. And so it leaves a lot of things that are quite not finished or, or just not really well developed. For example, the explosions are really paltry. They're not really that amazing. So it's just like the little circle going out, right? The shot frequency is kind of like the shots feel like like pea shooter y like just like very, very um, weak. There's no power-ups. There's also no level progression, so to speak. You just have the same enemy spawning all the time and you just come repeat this at infinitum. Which, yeah, that's something that is actually the difficult part, I feel, of a lot of shmups. And that's something that I talked about at the beginning of my tutorial, where it's like, I don't want you to create something very, very basic and then say like, and then you know how the rest goes, because the rest is actually the difficult part of it. So having a ship on the screen and shooting and having some enemies on the screen, that's kind of like the easy part. But then comes the what I talk about, the, the big wall of shmups, right? Where you have to come up with some concepts of how to make levels and so forth, how to make progression happening in the game. And that's difficult to pull off. And the 16 gift tutorial is exactly one of the tutorials that leaves you hanging exactly shortly before you arrive at the big wall of shmups. Also, I felt like especially the enemy uh, attacks are really basic. They don't really approach the player. They don't really present any kind of challenge. You're just like just moving some enemies around, which is cool, but it's just not enough. I mean, it's just 16 gifts, right? So what I would actually recommend to G26 is to go back to my tutorial and see if there's more things they can pull out of that to turn this into a more meaty, more complete experience. Okay, so we have a game that was created, again, not in Pico 8, but in a different kind of uh, engine. So far, these didn't go always that great. So let's see how that works out. So this was created in C using the Raylip framework. The game is called Chmup, and it's uh, by Basil Termini. Termini? Termini? Basil. Let's see, I, I like the Tate screen. Meaning that it is vertical. Ooh. Oh, that's a nice tune right there. Oh, it doesn't have key. It doesn't have gamepad controls. Oh no. Okay. Ooh, these are nice enemies. Oh, oh, oh. this looks. Awesome. Was that a bullet? Yeah, that was... Ooh, wait. It almost feels like my shots are a little bit magnetically attracted to the enemies, but they're not. There is... I have two bars on top. One is full, and the other one is almost empty. I don't know what sure what these mean. Oh, okay. The empty bar just got recharged. Is that just like my shot strength? It seems like the same pattern that we just had. Is that the same pattern? Ooh. Oh, but I like the pixel art happening. This is some cool pixel art. Okay, three. Ooh, no, different pattern this time around. There's some some enemies coming in that are balls. Okay, there's some kind of bar filling up. I don't know what that bar does. Oh, maybe I should have read the manual, huh? Maybe! I'm gonna read the manual. Oh, man. When I, uh, when I dig over here. I appreciate being able to pick up the bullets between the stages. Uh, I mean, the power-ups, I mean. I tried to press a different button, but it didn't trigger a bomb. I think I think there's a bomb, right? Oh, oh, that 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 didn't feel so great. I don't feel so. Oh, look! Oh, that's health points. I think. Oh man. Uh, nine waves and a boss fight. Every eight. Okay, so ten waves. Basically. Collect uh, things to collect this to fill your power bar while power is draining. No more shots become more powerful spread shots. Okay. When is the power bar draining? Shots veer left and right as you move. This is intentional. Your bullets maintain some of your ship's velocity when they are fired. Take advantage of this can... Okay, that's great. Use... Oh! Power up a space bar. Okay, got it. I feel like the controls probably should be always the first thing. 
material because again, it's <laughs> let's go. Ah, yeah. So there is some some shenanigans that's happening with a, with a, with a shooting. I don't mind that. That's actually cool. That's a cool idea. And I really appreciate the pixel art. This is some really nice pixel art. I don't want to see that uh, final wave. I don't know. Did I even complete the wave? Oh yeah, that's a wave too. Okay. So let me trigger the space bar. Oh, okay, 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 that's good, that's good. Yes, yes, ah, uh, butt clenching moment. Very spongy enemies, but I don't mind too much. Yeah, it's okay. Definitely feel when I get hit. That's something that's, again, it's like one of the health bar kind of shmups. Um, but uh, because of the screen flashes, I think the screen flashes, right? I I've definitely have, didn't have the problems of not noticing when I get hit. But I do have the problem, I don't know how much hits I can take, right? Seems like maybe five? Oh no, never mind. It's, I can just take like, oof. Oh, okay. So when it's completely depleted, now I'm gonna dead. I'm gonna get dead. So it's as long as I have some health bar there, and then I will I will survive a hit. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, let me do a space bar. Ah, that's what a little bit too late. That's a little bit too late. Okay, now I'm fully recharged now. Ooh, is that a boss fight? No. That's just a just a schmuck. Okay. <laughs> Get wrecked. This is not an easy schmuck. It's like you think it is easy because the patterns are very similar to each other, but it's actually not. And ooh, ooh, what the There's a lot happening here. It's difficult to... Oof. Yeah, 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 yeah. See? Oh man, like the... Using this, this thing... Oh man, what? Using this thing where your shots are getting deflected is difficult to pull off. Oh, what? Oh man. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. I think this was a. Uh, this is probably one of the more um, the games I like the most from the ones that were created in Pico Eight. Maybe I'm just like very biased towards pixel art, but yeah, I thought this was um, this worked very very well. Um, the pixel art was really amazing. Uh, the explosions and all the special effects felt really really chunky. Um, I kind of liked the the power up system. It's kind of like very easy. You just charge up and then you can use the spread shot. Um, the difficulty is a bit spicy, I have to say. I'm, I feel like I was not given the right tools to deal with the enemies. The idea of, of deflecting the bullets when you're moving is good in general. I didn't feel like it, like because the enemies have to take so much damage, I didn't feel like this was an adequate tool to deal with an enemy that has so much health. Um, generally, like, yeah, a lot of health on those enemies. And that makes it so that enemies stay on the screen longer which easily saturate the screen with dangers, and that makes it very difficult to deal with those waves. Um, but maybe I just just practice. I mean, just had just a few attempts here. Uh, I wish this had a controller set up. So I think that I'm gonna leave this for a stream where I can maybe take my controller and map it to the keyboard somehow so I can play it properly because I feel like on a keyboard, I don't really have the kind of control that I would need. But I love this, this is amazing. I actually want to check out the Rayleigh framework now because if you can pull off this kind of thing, that I'm really impressed. I also really did like the music. I wonder if if Basil did the music himself or if they if they um, uh, downloaded it somewhere. But but man, that sounded kick ass. Yeah, I like that. This was cool. All right. So next one is this one here. This is gonna be Shootinator, and already we can see again this uh, putting up the game card as the thumbnail. 
that already tells us this, this could be a work in progress. And I think, I'm pretty sure this is um, a game by Squidlight on Discord. They actually did uh, touch the website a little bit, so that's really nice. Um, and uh, yeah, this is a work in progress. So it says here, I don't have the time to work on it further. There's actually lots more code uh, in the game, but it's not available to see at the moment. Okay, so let's try it. Uh, again, we're gonna expect this is a work in progress kind of thing. Uh, uh, the embed is too narrow. We don't see the... Yeah, I had to fix the embed here with uh, some uh, developer tools. Folks, make your embeds big enough. You want to see the game. You want to also be able to address, uh, access those controls here. Those are very, very important. Okay, so let's, let's can, we, can we restart the card somehow? Ah, uh, ah, look at this. So, um, mwah, mwah. I, it's, it's, I like the logo here. I like the, 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 I know what I would call it, specular light going across it and there's a drop, sh drop shadow. That's so nice. Mmm, oh, ooh. Yeah, see, oh man. This is so nice. This is so, so nice. How there is, um, like when you get hit, there is like this Call of Duty kind of like a red border around uh, around your ship that goes, that, that shows you that you got hit. And there's also like the, when you get hit, you, there's like, a, I'm not sure, like, there's this blinking shield, but it's, it's a really nice, like, fading effect going on. And when you hit the enemies, they dissolve into like a cloud of pixels, but the cloud of pixels actually taken from the sprite of the enemies. Um, but I think that, that was a, like a tech that uh, Squidlight was working on, so yeah, this is fantastic. Look at the, look at how the text looks like. This is so nice. Ah, oh, and the enemy patterns are so cool. This is legit. Oh man, I have to restart now. Yes, this is this is such a nice shmup. I haven't even tried the bomb. It doesn't do anything. No, I see. At least I don't. I don't see any of it. Like uh, maybe that. That's not, and the unfinished part here. There's also a percentage bar on the right. Is that how far we are in the in the wave, or what is it? it? Seems like the it's using maybe alternative colors as well, like the alternate color plant. Mm. It looks so nice. The sound effects are really nice too. Yeah, the percentage bar goes up, now we are fully charged, and what now? Not just like the progress, how far we are in the game. Ah, congratulations, you have reached the end of the demo, that's all for the moment. I'll be back when the slow death completes the game. Mm, mm, did not happen. All right, all right. All right, so yeah, it, like it's difficult to comment on the work in progress games because it's just like, but I, from all of the work in progress games, I feel like this is probably the most complete one. Like this seems like I had a good schmuck experience so far. Also, like this is really nice and polished. And so it's really a big pity that that's good. Like wasn't able to finish this. Um, I saw he posted some uh, tools on the Discord that, you know, where you could draw like splines, where the, all those like discs that appeared, like the, the tails, you could like draw a spline and it would follow that spline. There's a lot of tech happening in the background here. And then, yeah, you can really tell this is, this is really elaborate. But also this might be also one of the reasons why, yeah, the dev wasn't able to complete this, like Squillet wasn't able to complete this. He actually talked about this a little bit and maybe that would be a good thing to talk about. So he f said that he just had motivational problems, right? Like, and I understand. I was talking about this also as well in my uh, We Are All Game Beginners video. Yeah, it's at some point there's like this, you, your motivation for a project tanks and then you're just not able to complete it. And 
Yeah, that's a tough problem. That's something that every, everybody's struggling with. This is not something that is unusual. This is not something where it's like, oh, it's just my, it's, it's a me, it's like, it's very easy to internalize. It's like, oh, it's just me, you know, but it's not like it's, everybody has this problem. And I think it's good to, to be open about it and, and discuss this. And I think it's also good to, uh, first of all, acknowledge this, not try to fix it right away and just like be like, yeah, this is, this is tough. This is what, this is the tough thing about video game making. And a lot of people are uh, struggling with making video, uh, video games because of this. And again, I don't want to like come in and start being like the big like, ah, here is the cool trick on how you solve this, because I don't think there is a good cool trick. This is something that we have to come to terms with uh, individually. Um, something that I, that might help for you guys out there if you're struggling with the same thing is to think of your motivation as just a different resource. Um, yeah, like you have resources, right? You have like your, you have your skills that maybe things that you cannot, can and cannot do. You have certain time available to you, but from the time that is available to you, there's even shorter amount of time. That is the time that you're able to, you know, really fire up yourself for a certain project. And at some point, you know, your motivation will run dry and you want to be, when you when your motivation runs dry, you want to be in a position where you can. Uh, you're close enough to the end of the project that you can actually finish this. And if you scale the projects according to the time available, but not necessarily to your amount of motivation that you can you have available, then um, you will always end up in this kind of situation where it's like, this is an awesome shmup and it looks really great. Probably needs a lot of work to complete it all the way through because to keep up this level of quality all the way through like an entire shmup experience. And if you don't have that motivation, then yeah, I can understand how you won't, wouldn't be able to wrap up these kinds of projects. So yeah, the, the trick is, I guess, scale down the projects, make them simpler, something that you can complete, you can maintain motivation throughout. But of course, there's a problem, like when you scale down the project and the project gets simpler and less elaborate, then you might be even less able to bring up this motivation for that for the kind of small project. This is tough. This is, you have to kind of like balance things out and meet uh, find a happy medium where it's like where projects where you can keep up the motivation all the way through to the end or close to the end but uh, and but they're still complex and sophisticated enough that you actually can uh you have fun working on them uh, in the first place it's a pity to see this project not being complete ah man it to some extent it already is a really really awesome shrub. you can all, already taste it ah oh, oh man all right, so it's time. It's time to talk about Shield Mate. Oh man, Alte Hauding, wow. Look at this, look at this game. So we cannot talk about Shield Mate without talking about Shield Mate <laughs> and Shield Mate MX. So this is an awesome shmup made by HitP Studio, HitP Studio, right? So these are just two people, Alte Hauding and what, who's the other guy? Who's the other guy? Michel Kröder is the other guy. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, those guys recently uh, released, made this beautiful game called Shieldmate MX. It uh, has made quite a splash um, and has been discussed quite a lot in the Schmuck community because it, it has some really unique uh, game mechanics where you... I, I played it a little bit. I kind of got the gist, but I'm not completely understand all of the intricacies, but you have to get hit by a bullet every now and then that changes the mode of your ship. So now suddenly you, you bullets are kind of pickups, but only to a certain point, and then it switches back around, and then you are completely vulnerable for a certain amount of time. But also picking up bullets also charges up some weapon. It's there's like this kind of like weird loop where you go through three different modes or so. Or so I'm mm, I'm not explaining it very well, but you should definitely try this game because it is it does some very interesting things in the way deals with getting hit. Getting hit is not the end of the of the story. Getting hit is a gateway into a whole complex thing that you go through. So that's that's something that's very exciting. Anyway, Alta Haudeken um, then went on and made kind of like a, a remake of that game, of his own game in Pico 8. So that's amazing. Uh, fire, I'm going to actually read the manual before we go jump into it because I understand. So fire regular weapon with X. Uh, EX weapon with O. Okay, so there's two buttons and one fires normal weapon, one fires the EX weapon. Touch an enemy projectile to activate the shield. Yes. So that was the same in in, uh, in the original shield made. Collect enemy projectiles with the shield when shield is up. Power up. Chain kill enemies to extend shield duration. Okay. 
Once the shield runs out, yeah, that you are in danger. And then avoid projectiles until the shield reboots. As long as the shield is active, the multiplier goes up, enabling higher scores and more damage output. Missing cuts uh, the next multiplier activation in half. Uh, after every time you defeat the boss, uh, enemies will become stronger and new stage layouts and enemies are introduced. Yeah, so I heard about this. This is um, kind of like an endless schmuck. Oh, you can, there's different loops. So there's a, there's a third loop. So three loops. Oh, look at this. How nice this looks. Oh, slow down. Like a, like a. Oh, it's so nice. So I got, I got hit now and I'm in this shield mode. And now picking up the power-ups will charge up my stuff. There's a lot of percentage bar on top. I don't know what these do. Okay, now I'm in danger mode. So now I cannot get hit. Okay, and now I'm in normal mode again. So now I'm getting hit. Look how awesome those, those um, this weaponry looks. Like the, the, your shot looks so, so nice. And get hit now. Oh! <laughs> I tried to get hit, but it didn't work. There we go. Now I'm shield mode, so now I want to suck up all of those. Oh yeah, power up. So now I'm stronger because I sucked up all of the um, enemy bullets. I kind of, I guess you almost don't want to shoot the enemy, so you, you see any projectiles. So now I'm danger mode. Oh, boss is coming up. Oh, oh. But now I'm okay. I'm okay mode. Look at this boss. Yes. Oh, oh. Okay, so I'm gonna get hit, so I have shield now, so I'm gonna suck up all of the those bullets. Yes! So was that... So I defeated the boss now. Is that loop... Was that loop one? Pick up the, the bullets. Can you destroy this? No, you cannot. I'm gonna assume you cannot. Yeah, pick up all the bullets. <laughs> Oh, 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 okay, S slow down. I'm not sure why this. Oh, I guess I defeated the pattern. Yeah, there's. It's so juicy. So nice and juicy. It looks like. Um, looks so much more like a like a much more like it doesn't even look like Pico Eight. And I think like when when the game reaches that, that's kind of amazing. Oh, look at my shot now. It's completely leveled up. It's completely no. It's, it goes further, right? Like because I can tell, like yeah, the percentage bar goes up. So this is not the final mode. This is not the my final form. It is pretty easy, I have to say. Okay, shield went down. Oh, that's a bad moment for the shield to go down. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Okay, getting the, those bullets, yes, oh, okay, 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 never mind, I take it all back, now things are getting more, more complicated. Oh, look at this. Is it, is, are we now in the third loop? Because we defeated the, the boss second time around? Is that how it works? Oh, oh, I think I'm in danger mode, right? Am I in danger? No, I'm not in danger mode. Oh, yeah, power up. Okay, I'm maximum power up. Oh, now the bullets are yellow, so I think they are... That's how I'm getting um, points. Oh, no! See, I got hit. Okay, so I went down one level, that's good. Oh no! Oh, this was close. Let's get this this guy out of the way. So wait, should I should pick up the bullets now? And level myself up. Oh no! Wow, the danger mode comes now really quickly. Back to normal again. Get hit. 
get all of this shield and everything. Oh wow, the lasers! Man, those lasers are no... Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Okay. <laughs> get the laser. Yeah, no, this is, this is incredible. Okay, another boss. I do feel like the bosses are a bit repetitive. Ah, oh, I was in danger mode. Oh no! I got lost my stuff. Oh, I didn't even actually use the... <laughs> I didn't even use the EX weapon once. This is crazy laser. Feels like I, I, I missed an opportunity there. Or two, or three, or, or hundred. Yeah, sucking all those bullets. Weapon ready. Okay, yeah, that's the X weapon, right? Things are happening at the same time. Oof. Oh, I love the slowdown. That feels so good. Oh! Okay, now I'm in danger mode. Uh, I don't know. The bullets change color to indicate if they're dangerous or if they're good. Because it constantly changes whether you, you can get hit by a bullet or not. And, um, and I, I think it's really smart to indicate it with a, with a color change of the bullets themselves. Ooh, in danger mode. Okay, I'm gonna use my EX weapon. Yes, get wrecked! Get wrecked! Yay! And the explosions are fascinating. Oh, look at this. Oh, now the lasers are getting really interesting. Oh yeah, see, now this is a real challenge right now. I don't even know how far I've gotten. Is it, I wonder, is it, is it like endless mode? Or does it, does it give me like at the end, uh, does it, does it give me like a, like, oh now you, you, you've defeated the last wave kind of message. I'm gonna see how far we're gonna get. We are on my last life right now. I'm not even sure which mode I'm in right now. <laughs> but yeah, the bullets kind of like tell me, right? They're, they're yellow bullets, uh, uh, blue bullets, so I'm safe to pick them up. Okay. Another boss. I have my EX weapon is fully charged. I'm in danger, but no problem. I'm gonna use just the EX weapon. I'm gonna pick up the shield. Continue. Oh wow, look at lasers that are sh shooting at me directly. Oh, 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 oh no, I got hit. Oh, still, oh, I thought that was my last life, but I'm, it wasn't apparently. There's a zero life. Oh, and there's a lot of enemies on the board. I wonder if this is a... Ah, oh, yeah, it got me. Okay, so here's my high score. It's 20... Oh, how much is it? How did he manage to save such a high number? That's... Uh, did he... Oh, apparently, maybe he used the new trick with the bitwise operators. So it's like uh, 2,295,600. Yeah, I mean, what can I say? It's an amazing schmuck, right? You can tell that this is a... A uh, shmup made by an experienced dev, somebody who already made a shmup somewhere else, right? Who knows how shmups are being made and they just like use Pico 8 to, yeah, to its full extent. Like this seems to be how they can uh, first uh, Pico 8 game. Set the bar pretty high, right? <laughs> um, no, I love it. It's good. Um, it's, it's cool to see 
uh, somebody demake their own game. I think this is really fun. I, um, we've seen demakes before from people who made somebody else's game, um, but uh, demaking your own game is kind of really fun. I felt, um, playing it felt really nice. Uh, it felt really juicy. The effects are amazing. Um, the uh, mechanic from Shieldmate MX is carried over really nicely, uh, works very well. I felt like the repetitiveness is something that got to me a little bit. I felt like, um, I wasn't really looking forward to the next boss because I knew what it was. I, knew, I just I saw the boss before, so like fighting the boss over and over again felt a bit like, okay, here we go again. Uh, the levels in between got more difficult, so that was really nice, actually, I thought. Um, they were very busy at some point. I was like, whoa, what's, what, what's happening? Um, I felt like, especially at the beginning, there was almost no challenge. So um, maybe starting a higher loop would be nicer. But I think there is an option for that, right? Like you can start at a higher loop, so maybe um, so you can skip the, the early levels, um, the tutorial levels, so to speak. Yeah, I'm not sure how the thing that it constantly loops and gets harder, how that is implemented. If it's just like layering more enemies on top and, and you can just keep playing until there's just like the screen is full of enemies, or is there a definitive endpoint where the game says like, okay, loop, I don't know, 20 is how far it gets and we're going to stop it here. Uh, I would love to, to know more about that. And the, the way the, the shots come out of the, of, the, the uh, of your player's ship, like how they go down and then up again, that looks so nice. That's something I will definitely pay attention to moving on to phase two. Definitely one of the highlights of the basic Schmap showcase. So this is it, this is it for today. I also wanted to point out, I forgot to say that, um, Ectane, the streamer Ectane, um, actually also did a playthrough of all of the games. So you might want to check out his uh, channel as well. He's Ectane here on YouTube, he's also on Twitch. I'm gonna maybe post a little uh, uh, info box there so you can click on it and watch Ectane's channel. My opinions don't have to be, you know, correct. So it's always good to get in multiple sources of input. From other people as well and Actane certainly is somebody who is very experienced with shmups so I would definitely trust his opinion as well. Yeah so this is it this was the third part but there's still a fourth part coming out so yeah see you next time around guys bye bye